Hi everybody, it's Dawn and welcome back to Indigo Bohemian Art. Now today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, same strainer pour. Okay, that's not different. What's different is that I finally had my Lazy Susan that I got at the thrift store chopped down so it sits lower and then I've got this tile that I've covered with plastic repurposed from the uh, wrapping from my new um, dishwasher and I've got a 14 by 14 canvas here on top of cups like I normally do and I was thinking I'll do a sink strainer pour but I'm hoping we can just use a little bit of centripetal force to spread those petals so they stay even. <clears throat> so this is like my third experiment today. Um, yeah, it's my day off from a day job, so I was gonna, I was gonna play, and that's what I've been doing. So I want to get a coat of white down on the canvas before I even start to help the other colors flow more nicely. So I'll take a moment and do that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking this might go. I don't know. I've I've never done this before like this, but you know, I guess it helps. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'm playing because that's this is my new toy, and you all have to like appreciate that, right? You get new toys, you want to play with them too. So I make sure I keep everything out of the way, so I can spin this freely and not knock into things or make a huge mess. At least not <clears throat> a huger mess than I usually do. Huger? Is that a word? A larger mess than I usually do. Sorry folks. I think I need more caffeine this morning. Anyway, let's get this white coat on. And I'm hoping I don't have to spin this too hard to get the effect I want, and I've mixed my paints a little on the thick side, just so <laughs> hopefully I don't get spattered. Um, that's not a guarantee, but you know, I thought at least that far ahead, I thought, well, you know what, make it thick, maybe, maybe you'll do okay, Dawn. But you know what, we will see. I think I put a little too much paint on there. Or maybe it's just enough, I don't know to really help these other colors to move easily on the canvas. So, uh, okay, I didn't leave a spot to put that, so let's put it over here for now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna place this, I'm gonna stand, oh, stand up, you can see better. Okay, I'm gonna place this more or less in the middle. It's really hard to tell when you're not looking overhead. Actually, I'm gonna look overhead all right, I need a cup because I'm going to do this one as a dirty cup. And nothing says dirty cup like dirty cup. <laughs> All right, so I've got pink, <clears throat> excuse me, it's light magenta, ultramarine blue, and a witch orange. This is Liquitex Basics, cadmium orange hue. Now, they're all kind of like a one-off of the primary colors, like pink instead of red, blue. Well, okay, blue is a primary color, duh. And <laughs> orange instead of yellow. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to lie to you about color theory, but not on purpose. So I'm just going to take a minute and build this dirty cup over here with these different colors, which I hope will, you know, make friends in the cup. At least that's my that's my hope. I did a sink strainer pour in these colors. I don't know if you've seen my my painting Hippie Sunshine. It was a smaller one than this one. It was very popular. Um, I got a lot of compliments, and several people tried to buy it after I already sold it. So not that you should try to recreate what you've done, but sometimes you know when something turns out so well. Maybe you can give it another shot. 
that's my thought behind it today anyway. So I'm just going to layer these paints in here. Uh, put orange next. Actually, I'm just going to pile the orange in there. It'll work its way out. Set that to the side. A little more blue. And to the side of the orange, because, you know, orange and blue... If you can keep them true, they look really striking next to one another because they are <clears throat> complementary colors as opposed to trying to mix them together. Unless you want mud. And I like my paintings to be mud free. Does it happen all the time? No. It, but it doesn't happen with me either. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit of a frog in my throat today. Not sure why, but okay. I'm just gonna save a little bit of white because you never know if you need to touch up. I'm gonna do. It's like, hmm. Do I give this a stir? Well, if I'm gonna give it a stir, I'm gonna use a different stick. Just make a little be great. All right. So now, do we pour then spin, or do we pour while we spin? Well, let's just get it going. And this is where we tell that it's not centered. Okay. That's a little bit better. So we'll just start. I say the paint's thick. So it will probably take a little bit of time to flow out. See what we can do. We'll just keep it going. Not too fast because we don't want the paint to fly off. Kind of feel like I'm in the casino playing with the roulette wheel. The paint is slowly making its way out. You hear the bearings and the lazy Susan. Seems like it's helping to some degree, but maybe not the degree I want it to. Getting close to the edge, and I was like, is it gonna just drip or is it gonna fly? <clears throat> I do not know this, but I will know this soon. <clears throat> I'm gonna stand up because then I can see what I'm doing a little better. The white is uh, making its way off, but not the rest. <laughs> Just about send that flying. Yeah, okay, so this is my first time out with the Lazy Susan. Maybe this isn't the best use of it, but I wanted to try it because, you know, you know me and my experimentation. I'm gonna let that slow down and then I think I'm actually gonna tilt that. Because I can and I think we'll get I think I'd have to spin it too hard <clears throat> to make it spread out entirely. And if I do that, well it's gonna be the um got a air compressor fiasco all over. Okay, so let's lift this up. No way. All right. Actually, it's going to be a pretty cool looking. Six straight or four. I think. Where's my light? I'm going to put a little bit more down. So 
three centers. Just to help it a little bit to move. Okay. All right, so let's tilt it away. I think that's not too bad. Now I may take a palette knife and just try to flick out the edges a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what it needs. So I'm going to wash my hands and be right back. Okay, I am back and here's my little palette knife. I'm just going to see these little tips. I just want to clean up just a little bit. Oh, I should probably get a paper towel. like that. And here where it didn't have a point. Okay, one more. <laughs> Got myself with that one. A few more points right here. So I'm just begging for one. There's a little bit of white there. Just, or maybe I just just paint it. There we go. And you can see a little better with the damage points. So I'm just gonna give it a spin, see which way I like it. Did I like it this way? This way. No, I think I like it the other way. One there. Fairly balanced, not well. This one can almost be too. There. All right, I'm gonna get the camera down and I'll show you what it looks like. Close up. Back with a close up. I've got a lot of natural light coming in, so I've turned my other lights off. 
So let's come in here. We have a lot of little cells, and that's just from the flow chart. We have this uh, grayish color that showed up probably because of the orange and blue, but you know what? It actually goes, so I am not unhappy about that. Yeah. This is really kind of cool looking, a little hippie flower. And I'm glad I feathered out some of these edges just to add to the overall composition. I like it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate that you spent some time with me and my art. Before you go, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching. You have a great day. See you next time. Bye for now.